Hello everybody and um, welcome to my little show and tell. This time we'll be looking at a, um, an iconic watch. Uh, it's a Psycho Diver 6309-7040. Uh, these watches were produced between 1976 and 1988. Uh, it's also known as the Turtle and I think you could probably figure out why. It's because of the um, the funny turtle shaped pin cushion um, case. Okay, so let's, uh, before we chat about this watch, um, talk about the statistics or the, um, the specs. It has a stainless steel cushion case measuring approximately 45 millimeters in width. Uh, that's uh, 48 millimeters including the crown. Uh, 48 millimeters in length, um, lug to lug. 13 millimeters in thickness and 22 millimeters between the lugs. The bezel is a um, is a 60 click bi-directional non-locking uh, bezel with a black painted aluminium bezel insert. Uh, <clears throat> when I say non-locking, which means uh, you can't lock it, and it actually turns both ways, which is very very strange for for divers. But that being said, it is an old watch, so um, yeah. The crystal is a Psycho Hardlex Mineral Crystal. The movement is a, the Psycho Workhorse 17 Dual uh, 6300 series automatic caliber. The movement cannot be manually wound and is a non-hacking uh, movement. It has a crown operated quick set day date calendar. And that's pretty much it. Um, on the back has Psycho's Tsunami, well known for their dive collection. And that's it, okay. <clears throat> well, we've got the boring stuff aside. So let's have a look at it. Um, well, I love this watch because it just, for me, it's just cool. It's a, it's a retro vintage dive watch from from an era, you know, when uh, when every man and his dog wasn't going diving, uh, you know, back in 1978, if you were wearing one of these, you were probably a diver, or at least somebody who who was an adventurous type, um, and and you know, uh, it would raise eyebrows. Uh, nowadays, you have people they've never seen the inside of a of a dive mask. But uh, but they were divers, and there's nothing wrong with that. Please don't you know uh, misunderstand me. I I'm not saying that you have to be a diver to wear a dive watch. I'm just saying when this thing was created, you know, um, well, dive watches weren't that common, and um, and this was a watch for the active man. Um, and it's just very aesthetically pleasing. It has some really beautiful lines. Those of you who have seen many of my <coughs> show and tells have probably noticed that I, uh, sorry, <coughs> I have something in my throat, have probably noticed that I have a, um, a sort of a fetish for uh, shark mesh, or mesh, if you if you like, and it's just I just um, I just love uh, mesh. It's it it makes the watches stand out and it looks really tough and manly and it reminds me of you know Shaq Costo going out to swim with tiger sharks on uh in his mesh suit and <laughs> stuff like that um and uh, and I've, I have actually uh dived with sharks and I've also had a little nibble um an oceanic black tip bit me in the arm which was uh, an uncool experience and I was wearing shark mesh at the time but it didn't save it <laughs> so so I still got nicked um Anyway, back to the watch. Yeah, it's it's just it's it's a very cool watch, and um, and these are these watches are commanding um, higher and higher prices uh, every time they're sold. Um, this one I bought from a friend. Uh, I'm not quite sure if um, if it's a hundred percent authentic or original. Um, I, I, I think it might have, you know, had new, um, new, um, hands. 
uh, installed. Now, I'm not one of these people. You, you do have watch enthusiasts who will who will walk around with a vintage watch uh, with with massively corroded uh, hour and minute hands because these are the original from 1972, and um, and, and they'll and they'll love them because of that. Uh, I'm not that kind of person. If if my if I buy a vintage or an old watch and it has corroded. Um, corroded uh, our hands and, and, and a smashed up bezel I'm going to change it uh, I'm going to change it with parts that are identical to the original uh, but I'm not going to wear a, a, a crashed uh, smashed up watch uh, because it's the original um, I would like to restore it to its um, its original uh, well to make it look original and so I don't know if this watch uh, is, is you know has got the it, it does it it, it they look very new, and and that's okay for me. I don't mind. I really don't mind. I'd much rather have nice new hour hands and uh, and so on and face bezel than have old ones that are scratched and corroded. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> well, that's pretty much all, folks. I just wanted to show you this watch and uh, give you the specs and uh, and you know see what you guys think. If you <coughs> damn it, sorry. If you have any uh, comments uh, or anything, please uh, just write your comments under this video. And I'm filming with a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, which doesn't always do the job, but unfortunately I can't go out and buy something new right now. So this will have to do. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys, and um, again, thanks for watching.